from unsubscribed healthcare. I just want to go over and make a quick video on how you can make your own QR code scannable uh, business card. This is really useful because you can just bring one business card with you uh, to places that you go and have them scan the QR code and then it puts your information directly into their phone and they can click save and now your contact information is saved into their phone. On my business cards, I also use an NFC uh, reader uh, chip and what that does is when you put the NFC chip close to the person's phone, it allows you to pull up a website. Um, I do that because I have them scan and then they're, if they're interested in signing up right away for a schedule, I, it brings them to my scheduling page. Um, so it's pretty useful. I'll go over that in a different video, but for tonight, we'll just go over how you can make your own business card. So I use a service called canva.com. It's a free service. You have a pro version that you can pay for. It's really useful. Uh, it saves your projects. It's very handy to um, be able to come back and go to projects that you had started on. What you want to do is in the search button, you'll click and search for business cards. It's going to bring up a bunch of different free templates for you to choose. Anything with this crown or the money uh, you have to pay for. Um, but for the most part, you can just use one. So we'll click on one. You would edit it for your own information. I saw Maxwell on this one, so I chose that because of my full name. Um, you know, so if we were going to do anything like this, you can put your own logo information here if you want. Oops, didn't mean to undo that. So we'll do control Z and it brings it right back. I meant to just delete that. Okay. Okay. So I want to import my own logo to do that. I come up here to lo uploads on the left. Okay. You can drag and drop. You can, you know, click on videos, upload videos, just click upload media. And we'll click here for my company logo. And now that you can see unsubscribed healthcare is located right there. These pink boxes are really helpful. The pink boxes let you know if it's going to be inside like a printable area. Um, so you can see that right there is a printable area. This isn't going to be the best looking one. I'm just showing you guys functionality. So unsubscribed healthcare has been uploaded there. I can make it all pretty and do different things. You can change backgrounds around. You can see that this is an element here that they put in. So you can move these elements around and customize it to what you want. Um, to make your own QR code that's scannable, what you would want to do is that you want to come over to Google, type in QR code generator. I usually use this one called theqrcodegenerator.com. Um, you can use a URL if you wanted to type in your URL for your scheduler. You can QR code to a scheduler if you wanted. I find that the easiest one for all patients, including older patients, is to use the contact information one for the QR code scanner. So what you want to do is you want to put in all of your information. So I'm just going to try and go quick. Unsubscribe. Healthcare. You can see that it's changing the QR code. Um, and so that QR code will um, continue to update as I type in information. All right. Uh, if I had a fax, you could put it in there. Address is always helpful to put in as well. All right, and then URL code www.unsubscribed.healthcare. And now you can see that it is all set for me. So that QR code scanner, if you scan it, it should come up with a contact and it'll allow me to be put into your contacts right away with just one button click. And that should work on most modern day Apple devices as well as uh, most modern Android devices without needing a QR code scanner app. I know Samsung and Apple have been really pushing it as well as Google for their phones. All 
All right, so we label the file unsubscribed healthcare QR PNG or SVG or just different file types that you would save it as. PNG is fine. So click on download. You can see now that it's downloaded. So we're going to go back to Canva and we can simply just drag and drop to our uploads. And now you can see that the QR code has been uploaded. We're going to drag and drop over onto our ooh, control Z that. Just click it and it adds to it. We'll get rid of the logo. I find that in order for it to be scannable when you do print out your business cards or when you send it off to a service, Canva does offer a service. I've never tried them for printing my business cards, but you can see it's an option here in the top right corner. Um, I know that Vista Print, when you do it, you want it to be fairly large, you know, a little bit less than half of the um, business card is going to be good for it to be able to be read easily. The other thing is, is I used glossy finish on my first set of business cards and made it difficult for the uh, phones to read it. So I'd really recommend using a matte finish. And I think that would work better. Um, I plan on doing that with my next set of business cards that I'm ordering tonight. And I can let you all know how it goes. So when you're going to download this for use on Canva or download this for printing on a different website, maybe one of your local businesses, you come up here to the top right where it says share and you click on download. PDF is fine. You can use other ones. Um, I use PNG or PDF. Either one is going to be fine. I don't actually need this second one here, so I'm going to actually delete that first. Now we'll do the download. You can see it's downloading and now it's all set. Again, here it says professional prints. They're trying to sell you in that. Um, I always leave the back of mine blank in case somebody wants to write down something. Um, but yeah, that's how you would do it. So you could either use Canva to print out or now that you have the PDF, you can simply upload this to like Vista Print or anything else and it would print out for you. But I hope that was helpful. Please subscribe to Unsubscribed Healthcare for more helpful videos. Thanks so much. Bye.